Hello students in our today's video we will learn about food chain and food web observe the figure given on your screen we can make out from this figure that organisms form a chain of eating and being eaten we can also observe that plants use sunlight to produce food of their own we already know this and hence they are called as producers or autotrophs plants are eaten up by animals like grasshopper which is in turn eaten up by frog frog is eaten up by snake and snakes are eaten up by owls or vultures when all these consumers die decomposers decay their body and will convert their complex organic matter to simple organic matter and mix it with soil the simpler substances are again consumed by plants in the form of nutrients from the soil and the chain continues so as you can observe that this forms a series of organisms feeding on one another that is interdependent on one another for their food this series of organisms taking part at various levels forms a continuous linear structure which we call it as food chain so we can say that simple food chain basically consists of links between producers herbivores and carnivores and decomposers you know students we can visualize this food chain not as a circular path but vertically like this observe that from here we get an idea that all organisms are placed at certain levels in the whole food chain and each level in this chain is food for the next level here each single level is said to be a particular trophic level where trophos means feeding so it is trophic level or feeding level in our example plants are producers and occupy first trophic level grasshopper comes at second trophic level while frog occupies third trophic level and owl occupies the fourth trophic level confused let us understand this in detail the autotrophs or the producers are at the first trophic level they fix up the solar energy and make it available for heterotrophs or consumers The herbivores or the primary consumers come at the second trophic level. They include herbivores animals who eat strictly plants. These primary consumers become prey for other animals which sit on the higher level in the food chain. Examples of primary consumers or herbivores are chipmunks, mice, horses, birds, deer, some insects etc while in water fish zooplankton snails sea urchins etc from primary consumer group while small carnivores or the secondary consumers form the third trophic level these animals feed on primary consumers they usually eat meat and are termed as predators for example rats frogs snakes spiders and some birds like kingfishers or pygmy falcons etc while some big fishes like lantern fish oceanic stunfish mackerels etc still larger carnivores or tertiary consumers form the fourth trophic level they are the ones who feed on secondary consumers and they don't have any other predator beyond them or on the top of them and thus they are called as top order predators or top order consumers they are also termed as apex predators and have no natural enemies for example lions hawks snakes coyotes wolves and vultures etc are tertiary consumers while sharks or whales are aquatic tertiary consumers naturally we would assume that humans are at the top of food chain but they are not have you ever thought why 
why humans are not at the top of the food chain humans are not considered apex predators because their diets are typically different although human trophic levels increases with consumption of meat for instance plants are considered to be at level 1 and apex predators are usually placed at level 4 or 5 According to scientists humans are placed on trophic level of 2 or 3 as per which kind of diet they eat if they eat only plants and plant based food that is if humans are vegetarian then they will be placed with herbivores at second trophic level while if they eat meat also that is if they are non vegetarians then they will be grouped with primary carnivores at third trophic level so students you can see how trophic level of humans change as per the diet they consume now students let me give you one task find out how many different types of food chains can there be in nature and are these food chains interdependent or linked with each other or they are independent of each other think a while or else we will answer these questions in our next video